Hey, hey Virgos. Okay, we are going to get into your reading. Um, we're going to post some self-care messages. Something about a vision board. It's never too late. I feel like you're being guided. You've been seeing a lot of threes. Someone need to make a vision board in the shower. It'll help your manifestation comes quicker. Someone needs to do self-pleasuring and read books. Someone needs to cleanse, clean, cleanse they self and cleanse they or energy field. You could be seeing 1010. It could be a lot of negative energy around you. This will help your aura. No. Now, so far we got blooming, allowing a relationship to flow naturally takes it one day at a time, nurturing a relationship with good energy and love. Refusal, someone refusing to grant. So basically, before we get into this reading, Virgo, I got three stories. Cause there's a little retrograde going on right now. And um, the energy I feel is like karmic, delusion, and denial and healing okay so entangled family religious obligation feel tied down by divorce or support payments angered ex-partner range like you could be getting like like especially if you got a divorce you get alimony support pay child support and like it's like you feel tied down I see religious obligations like somebody had an arranged marriage and like they really don't like that person because they're very angry like some people might look at it like oh you got money but you're not happy like this card's in the reverse you're not happy different nor like it's like you outgrown this person too like y'all on different mindsets, different ideology, different views about life, different stages. This person could be having an affair and you know it. Some of y'all, if y'all have a boyfriend and girlfriend, some of y'all are seeking tarot reader guides, um, questions. But it's like when they tell you this is not your soulmate or twin flame, it's like you go against what they believe. For some of y'all... We gonna call this the flip coin because this it did a like splizzy on the ground and then when i picked it up again it dropped and it was backwards so some of y'all are generous meaning like you're generous with your time money enjoying taking care of others spoiling loved ones showing affection through material things and your your cup is overflowing like look at the page it's like money falling onto him like he's overflow he's already filled and then the coins are going out skirt the um yeah, someone could like gold. Want gold grills? And then we got stingy. Penny pitching doesn't give up their money willing. Prefer to split everything down the middle. Spend other people money. Y'all could be dealing with a Leo. We got the strength card rebound. Someone use people. This could be you, Virgo, using people to overcome your pain. Like, you know, thinking like sexual healing, sexual healing. And I feel like someone needs to get clarity on like sound healing bowls, meditating. The beach could be significant. And that just popped up in my head. Okay. Heavy on saging. Heavy on saging. Some of y'all are sleeping with someone that's not good for your energy. And it's like, it's, it's drawing me back to this card. Some of y'all are like, I, I don't know. Some of y I'm going to say this in the nicest way, but I cannot sugarcoat it. Some of y'all are facing like self-esteem issues in the bedroom, feeling like you're not enough for your partner. And I feel like for a few of you, like your partner is not really all into sex. Like they really care about spending quality time, going out to eat. Making sure that you're okay. For some of y'all, 
I feel like it says it, it demands based of your self worth. Like I feel like when you you hear it, it gives you like a boost of self esteem, basically. And then lastly, the last card we got is trust issue. You can be seeing black cats or cats in general, but heavy on the black cats. You don't trust others. You know, keep others arm lengths. Start arguments with a little pro pro provoke. Ooh. I mean, you cursing somebody out, rude, condescending. It's giving like a Jezebel spirit. This could be you or someone you around. But this cat's like someone don't trust somebody. We gon' and that's confirmation. Cause now my my video just loads. We gonna go with trust issues. Yeah, the Ace of Wands delaying. Lack of energy, unfinished business. You could be delaying a project or was delaying a project. Feeling stagnant, stressed, and isolated. But someone's getting to it. With the strength card, someone's cleaning the room. Getting rid of negative energy. Somebody's lacking a commitment to their self or to a job. I'm hearing like JT, I am a job. So I feel like you could have money come to you easily. But I feel like don't be careless when it comes to your spending. With the Nine of Swords here... Because you could be having insomnia. Someone needs to drink some tart cherry juice, bedtime tea. Like, I feel like when you trust in the divine and you trust in Lord Jesus Christ, you will understand that there's nothing to worry about. Especially if you're doing a proper planning. So someone needs to get to the planet so they can get to the Ten of Cups. Somebody got a family member they need to listen to the Ten of Cups that's out here. And I feel like you're delaying. It's like you is a. It's like me versus me. It's like you are delaying you. I've been saying this for a long time, Virgo. This is like the third time. Each week, I'm saying something about you healing and you delaying it, or you at a standstill. Like fear of sacrifice, fear of change. Because it's gonna take work and investment. I feel like. You like to tell people what to do, but when it comes to you, you want to do what you want to do. And it's like, can you imagine having a kid like that where they kind of act like the bad version of you and then like you understand what your parents is going through? That's what it's giving. Because I feel like people want you, for you to be good mentally physically somebody really wants their daughter to be so confident because i have a virgo friend and it's like resonating take a resonate if you have this in your rising sun moon north note if you got placements of virgos anywhere else neptune yeah, because you're facing your fear with the blooming. With this, you know what's what's crazy with the refu with the refusal and the, the and the rebound, it's like somebody who goes back and forth. What's this refusal? Oh no, that's something different. I feel like the refusal is like an entanglement, like someone got married because it's like they want to terminate a partnership. Like somebody wants to get divorced. Somebody wants out. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's like a codependent person. They have a little financial independence, but not as much as they want. Work from home conflict, self-centered. Deceit. And it's like the page is like very low. Very low. It's like just the beginner. You have some type of news or feeling like free spirit or good message that's going to help you get to your freedom. What's refusal and entanglement? But yeah, it's like you missed the opportunity and missed the chance. I feel like if you're married to someone, it's like you get the annul under two years. But if you have a kid with this person, you're going to have issues. Especially if you don't have a prenup. 
some of y'all learning the importance of having people sign a contract even if it's a boyfriend welcome to death row whatever you want to title it because yeah some with the three ones i shuffle it like you being confident you're making plans to get rid of this repressed emotion with the ace of cup in reverse or get rid of this love person that's not good for you because y'all both on different page and you're being guide and this person could be stingy too with their time their money yeah it's like you learning a karmic lesson especially you know marriage don't have to be like you really did get married it could be like a relationship because in the spiritual realm when you sleep with someone you're married you feel me now, once it's done, it's done, and your ancestors burned the contract, it's over. But with the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you come from a family that didn't, like, y'all had much, but y'all struggle. Living places to place, like, it just, it give like, just know you got a positive change, and you learned your karma lesson. Like, someone's learning to, like, stop smitting like you have more than enough like clothes like someone's learning the more you be grateful for what you got now you get more and someone's seen as a virgo especially you have like brown pretty eyes you could be latina yeah i'm just gonna say i feel like it's all because i'm getting this channel like i feel like you seen the power of your word. The more you are grateful, the more you keep following God, the more you're understanding and focusing on self and like your self-esteem, it's gonna get better for you. Some of y'all are gearing up or need to gear up for war, like setting your boundaries. Like, cause somebody is very persistent from your past. That could be a Pisces or Aries with the Emperor in reverse. It's like a distorted masculine who is dealing with a, a, a karmic that's a queen of cups. It's very codependent on them. But somebody is confused, Virgo, that you got many choices, but they don't. And I feel like someone, she gives me money. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, like, someone ain't dealing with, um, a broke person. I was supposed to hold it like this. Like, you got a breakthrough and mental clarity, because we got two clarities here. About your success, your decision, sharpening your mind, understanding you could do good. Like, someone needs to eat vegetables. Someone wants to do a cleanse, baptize. And the hermit here is like, you could be soul searching, guiding yourself, meditating. I don't like the Wheel of Fortune in reverse after the hermit. And the star. I feel like you're going to give someone that a chance and like they're going to be bad luck. A Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries. Heavy on the fire sign. Heavy on the fire sign. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Is it going to be a painful ending? Be a collapse? And I feel like, please don't be crying over no man that don't got no money. The King of Pentacles. Like somebody needs to get on a they cali like having a roster because you know them influences they be that girl like why why you think they um with a temperance in reverse i ain't like that you be over smoking too much i'm smelling like 420 on my lips mm -hmm. better you're a masculine or feminine i'm just trying to say this with ease like work on your self-esteem and self-healing because I feel like you give someone too much energy and they see that they have control of your emotions. And I feel like some of y'all need to really let go of this person. It's only for a few. Especially if it's a baby daddy. 
let him go, let him go, let him go. Because you're literally the empress. Like, you're in the pinnacles of the tarot decks. So money should be not even a concern. It must be something that you're worried about. And somebody has a, like, you could be the one that's getting called judgment or a parent around. And they're not doing nothing bad because it's in the upright. But I feel like this person you call in judgment is going to call you out on your shit too. And um, I don't know if somebody don't like this. Hear the truth. And I think somebody understands. Yeah. You could be feeling like you misunderstood. Like people understand. With the sun and the six of pentacles. That you're very generous. I feel like with the high priestess. You try to make it seem like you're not. But things are turning in your favor. The answer's within you. And I feel like you just got to take the chance and get it done. You're very giving, the sun card. You have a positive pleasure after you heal. Learn that, hey, it can even be simple as like, hey, I'm going to learn to stop overspending. And the universe, I pray, you give me $100. Those are the simple that I can have self-control. Even though I doubt myself that I might mess up, help me not to guide me away from temptation. Amen. Something like that. I try to give you like a little detailed prayer. Because I feel like you fair. It's given like Gucci, the movie. Because the, the, the wife was saying, I'm, I'm fair. Somebody needs to trust they self, they spirituality. They could be having loud pitch ear, ear ringings in your right and left. Look them up and even the times that you be sneezing. Be careful of somebody who's a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, it could be this Empress misleading you because I got the Seven of Pentacles upright and the Eight of Pentacles it's like in a tower. Because somebody think they can get away with deception. Someone has a kick out of like making you feel like you're the baby. Like you're incapable of taking care of yourself. And maybe you did have time doing that. Because somebody has a parent that baby's dumb. And I'm hearing like healing energy on me. It's just heavy on learning to not overspend. For the ones that are financially good Virgos, I feel like you need to be careful of a father figure that really wasn't in your life. That's a fire sign, a baby daddy, because they're, they're sending some deception and they have a third party. They will be facing judgment, but it's like you have a lot of positive things and I feel like it's your time to spend on your periods of growth. like reflecting especially since the new moon is coming february night make sure you set your attentions and your manifestations some of y'all want to travel i'm here in jamaica bali like someone's watching close attention of your habits I feel like someone feel like they can't tell you something they rather just separate it or give you the silent treatment because they don't know how to say it. Learn from the past. Somebody gonna learn from the past. Or you gonna keep losing friends. Keep losing your money. Yeah, somebody's dealing with a third party. You gonna get a love message. Some of y'all gonna be happy single and some of y'all gonna get a love message from somebody that's healthy that you just separated because you're trying to focus on your, your well-being. Your money's getting good, stability and growth. Someone gonna call you thinking about you. Especially if this person do CDL, they gonna call you. Some of y'all going to a gluttoning Valentine birthday party or somebody birthday. Yeah. We got the death card at the end. Some of y'all end a relationship with a Scorpio. And it's because they all wanted to do was hook up. And that's clarity and the truth. And that dropped down the ground. Yep. I'm going to end y'all reading here. 
I appreciate spending time with you guys. I feel like somebody is knowing to like make better choices and asking themselves what do they want. You want a God-fearing man? You want a man that don't sag his pants? Do you want a man that sag his pants? Do you want a man that take care of you and take care of the children? Because it's hard out here. Or you want to be the one, like, some, somebody needs to know their weakness and strength, what you can deal with and what you can't deal with. Somebody needs to stop worrying about what the internet thinks. Like, okay, they see you being provided for, or catered to, they're going to think that you're lazy or whatever. No, you have a man that actually is capable of taking care of you. You find what the internet is going to just drive you crazy. I have a perception that when people say things, it's, it don't got nothing to do with me. It's all a reflection of them. Some of y'all are dealing with a liar. Hype, talk about it, but doesn't be about it. Talk a big game, but doesn't follow through. Big flirt, player mentality. This person could be grown. Okay? But make sure you're taking care of yourself. Okay? Because I really feel like when you lack motivation... Cause like, it's like you just go into Herman mode, like a crab in a shell. But somebody really need to be careful with the Seven of Swords. Someone like I didn't even pay attention to say, where it says like acting to acting strategic, trickery, fraud, betrayal. Somebody trying to get away with something with the dishonesty, and your friend is gonna peep it and gonna say you ain't crazy. Yeah, cause you the Queen of Cups. You wanna we know you're. Virgo, it's just that you're very compassionate, very caring. This person is very materialistic and indulge and lack inner happiness and inner joy. They could also be a water sign. Somebody has a hidden agenda to harm you and think that you're not street smart. So be careful who you hang with. Yeah. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Hope this resonates. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>